how can SMEs navigate change? Um, I think one of the disadvantages of being in an SME is the lack of sometimes technology, resources and infrastructure. But I think uh, in, in the SME world, we can uh, create and develop a organisation that is agile. Uh, that's able to cope with different changes and navigate through uh, the journey. Today, I am happy to introduce my friends and my colleagues to you, um, Irene and Karen. When I think about individuals at Rohe that have been able to navigate changes um, successfully, I think of them. Irene has been with us uh, since 2012. She was first our intern and now our project manager. And of course, we have Karen. Karen joined us since 2007, when Rohe first started. Now leads our business development team. So we'll start with Karen. Uh, what is the biggest change so far that you had to navigate at Rohe? I think uh, it was when I was in the Director of Operations role and I had to move into business development. Rohe is a, a family culture, very family-oriented thing, uh, where you know we kind of started out doing all different roles yeah. and whenever there was a need, we'll just step in and fill it. There was a pressing need from a business standpoint, so mm -hmm. naturally I think I, I just felt like, okay, I just had to rise up to it. Mm -hmm. I was a HR person yeah. um, coming from an MNC, you know, right. so I moved into this role um, technically with a very big skill gap technically. Mm -hmm. Because I've, I've never sold before, don't know how to sell. You know, having come from a very established where things were already set up, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Into a pioneering role, that was also like a switch, but I took it on as a challenge. I took it on as something that is, okay, let's try. And I think um, the, the great help um, and, and why I was able to transition was also because I felt very safe to go and experiment and even fail at times and yet be supported, you know, and be able to move on. So I felt it was a combination of it that allowed me to then venture out and try something new, yeah. even though it was out of my comfort zone. I mean, you went through some changes too over the many years um, and quite a journey. Yes, I actually went through four different departments wow. uh, in seven years, uh, my time in Rohe. Moving to business development was quite difficult for yeah. me because, first of all, it wasn't something I requested for mm -hmm. uh, and it was very sudden. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of things that I had to deal with internally, um, especially because I didn't like to sell um, mm. and I thought selling was more for extroverts and it was something I was very uncomfortable with. What helped you get through that change? I guess I had this sense of purpose yeah. um, within me that uh, this is what the organization needs. Mm -hmm. And I remember buying books, like wow. um, how to sell like an introvert or something mm -hmm. like that. And some things that I got to learn through mm -hmm. this experience was to um, take it as a challenge for myself. Mm -hmm. um, of course, something for the organization, but as a challenge for myself that there's something that I can learn from mm -hmm. this. Now I know because I went through that experience mm -hmm. of going through that change and going through that process together, mm. I've become a lot more resilient. Yes. Um, I have better perspective of what BD is going through, yeah. um, a lot more empathy. So those are things that I really value now, um, even though I'm not in BD now. So proud of the two of you because I think about people that have successfully shown up time and again and very meaningful for the organisation, I think, of the two of you. So thank you for sharing this episode. I hope you found this episode helpful. We wish you the best as we continue this quest of how, how to overcome uh, changes that happens for us. So until the next episode, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.